Hello and welcome back to the final module of Four Dimensions of Service Management chapter. We shall be continuing our discussion on value streams for service management. A value stream is a series of steps that an organization uses to create and deliver products and services to a service consumer. A value stream is a combination of the organization's value chain activities. Value Stream A series of steps an organization undertakes to create and deliver products and services to consumers. Identifying and understanding the various value streams an organization has is critical to improving its overall performance. Structuring the organization's activities in the form of value streams allows it to have a clear picture of what it delivers and how and to make continual improvements to its services. Organizations should examine how they perform work and map all the value streams they can identify. This will enable them to analyze their current state and identify any barriers to workflow and non-value-adding activities. Value streams should be defined by organizations for each of their products and services. Processes A set of interrelated or interacting activities that transform inputs into outputs. A process takes one or more defined inputs and turns them into defined outputs. Processes define the sequence of actions and their dependencies. When applied to products and services, this dimension helps to answer the following questions. Critical to service design, delivery, and improvement. What is the generic delivery model for the service? And how does the service work? What are the value streams involved in delivering the agreed outputs of the service? Who or what performs the required service actions? External factors is the last concept of this chapter. Service providers do not operate in isolation. They are affected by many external factors and work in dynamic and complex environments that can exhibit high degrees of volatility and uncertainty and impose constraints on how the service provider can work. Collectively, these factors influence how organizations configure their resources and address the four dimensions of service management. For example, government and societal attitudes towards environmentally friendly products and services may result in the organization investing more tools and technologies that meet external expectations. Economic and societal factors may influence organizations to create several versions of the same product to address various consumer groups that show different buying patterns. Data protection laws or regulations, like GDPR, have changed how companies must collect, process, access, and store customer data, as well as how they work with external partners and suppliers. Summary The four dimensions represent a holistic approach to service management, and organizations should ensure that there is a balance of focus between each dimension. The impact of external factors on the four dimensions should also be considered. All four dimensions and the external factors that affect them should be addressed as they evolve, considering emerging trends and opportunities. It is essential that an organization's SVS is considered from all four dimensions, as the failure to adequately address or account for one dimension or an external factor can lead to suboptimal products and services. With this, we've come to the end of this chapter. In the next chapter, we shall be starting with ITIL Service Value Systems. Until then, keep learning ITIL.